In an earlier video, which is referenced up here, I looked at the weight of my Orbea Gain e-bike. That's the bike that you can see behind me here. Now, when I bought the bike, it was an M30, and as it came out of the box, it weighed in at just under 13 kilograms. After I'd finished making the changes to lighten it, it weighed in at just under 11 and a half kilos. Before I delve into the details, I should say I am an engineer. And with my engineer's hat on, I know that lightening a bike or buying a light bike is a relatively expensive way of getting a very small performance improvement. However, I know that we cyclists like to break the laws of economics and physics. Or is it we just like our light bikes? Probably the latter. And that's why, despite me thinking as an engineer, I still went ahead and lightened the bike anyway. However, I decided not to get carried away, and I decided at the time that I would limit my budget to a total of £2,250. That includes the purchase of the bike and the upgrades that brought it down to 11 and a half kilos. In this video, I decided I can spend an extra £250 and I'm going to look at how much further I could have lightened this bike by spending that £250. OK, then let's go over to the computer and look at what I could have purchased and see how much lighter I could have made this bike. A relatively easy first thing I can do is revert to the original headset spacers and steerer expander. That's 32 grams saved. Next, I'll turn my attention to the wheels and in particular the rims where I made a more substantial weight saving. I started off with these normal weight 50mm deep rims and I purchased them through AliExpress. If we look at this table, the 50mm rims are 475 gram each. However, if I'd gone for the 30 millimeter deep lightweight rims, they would have come in at 360 gram each. Although that's not the full story, as the shallower rims would require slightly longer spokes. And the extra length equates to just under four spokes. Now, if I were going for a lightweight wheel option, I would drop the spoke count on the front wheel from 24 down to 20 and therefore compensating for those extra spoke lengths. If I'd gone for the 30mm deep lightweight rims, the total additional weight saving would have been 230 gram. The additional cost is around 70 pounds. The chain set is an area where I could drop some mass too. I've identified this set of cranks which weigh just 388 gram. I would marry that up with a 4630 chain ring. So the replacement chain set would come in at 533 gram or roughly 150 gram less than my Shimano Altegra chain set. The additional cost was just 30 pounds as I've already sold my Altegra chain set. I've gone through the list of changes that I previously made to the bike and to be honest I can't see any scope for other significant weight savings without spending quite a lot more money or compromising some of my riding experience. There are some small things I can do. For instance I can remove some of the links of the chain because I've gone for that smaller 46 tooth chain wheel, trim some more off of the seat pin and the ends of the handlebar drops. These minor changes save an additional 50 gram. The total cost of the bike and the lightening modification came to just under 2,500 pounds. And for that, I got an e-bike that weighs just under 11 kilos. To put that in perspective, the top of the range or Bayer Gain M10i with Durace equipment on it is purported to weigh 11.77 kilos. OK, it's not quite like for like comparison. The newer bike has a 40% larger battery, which adds around 800 gram, but it does bring it down to around about the same weight as my bike. Oh, and did I mention that M10i is over 9,000 pounds, or nearly four times as much as my bike cost? 
So I think the point of this video is that you can go out and buy a lower spec, cheaper e-bike model, carry out some targeted and well thought out upgrades and get a bike that's as light or lighter than a much more expensive model. I should say this doesn't just work for e-bikes, it can work for acoustic bikes too. So I got my Orbea again e-bike, this one, down to just under 11 kilos, which is comparable to a top spec current Orbea again model. Now at the outset I said lightening the bike really doesn't make that much sense. So I'm going to stop here, stop lightening the bike, and just ride and enjoy this 11 kilo monstrosity that I've produced. However, my curiosity doesn't stop there. So in a future video, I'm gonna look at removing all of the constraints, financial constraints and other practicality and desirability constraints and see just how much more weight I could have taken off of this Orbe again. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see the next theoretical video about lightening this bike even further, please consider subscribing. From me until the next video, it's goodbye.